Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Today I'm going to be doing my first Q&A. So if you haven't watched my Q&A announcement video, I will, say I will be accepting questions from January 2nd to the end of February at 11.59 Pacific Standard Time. So without further ado, let's start with the first question. So the first question comes from GTS Cube Stacking, and he asks, If you had $100 to spend on any cubes, what would you get? I would get an Aosu GTS 2M, which costs $45, a fully magnetic Volt V2M, which costs $20, a Wyland 3x3, which costs $5, a Moyu Allion Scube, which costs $19, and a Shengxiao Kibin, which costs $11. Add the prices up and you get a hundred. Next question comes from Rex Cube and he asks, If you were stranded on an island with nothing but three cubes, what three cubes would you choose? I would choose my three favorite cubes. I would choose my Wildland 4x4, my GAN 54M, and my Yushin Little Magic Square 1M. Next question comes from Adarsh Is and he asks, Your favorite YouTuber? I have three favorites. I like Matt Stoney, I like Porter Robinson, and I like Billy Eilish. Next questions come from Ryan Solves 13x13, and he asks, Can you do three blind or clock? What do you think of them? I can do neither of them. I can't do three blind nor clock. Now what do I think of them? Clock seem to be a really forgettable event that I want to be removed, despite that I feel bad for the people who work so hard on getting fast at that event. And I'd say 3 blind is one of those challenging events that everyone should try doing. Next question comes from Mahender Adlery, and he asked, Your first speed cube? My first speed cube was the YJ Sulong, which I got in early 2018. Next question comes from Spinboy, and he asked, what motivated you to make a YouTube channel? Well, I watched lots of cubing videos, and uh, after I watched like over 500 cubing videos, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna start my own channel and make my own videos. Next question comes from Dasherboy27, and he asked, What is your favorite TV show? What was your best competition? What's the worst cube that you own? What's your main event? And what's your favorite song? So first off, my favorite TV show. I don't know if you've heard of this, but it's called Mau Mau Hears of Pure Heart, which is a TV show that airs on Cartoon Network. Now, my best competition was Gross Mod Fall, mainly because I broke all my PB. I broke my 3 by 3 PB, my 4x4, my 5x5, my 6x6, and my 7x7 PB. And by the way, those events were all the events at the competition. Now the worst cube that I own is the Shangsha Mega Minx. The stickers uh, chip, chip off and peel off very easily. It has bad turning and it barely corner cuts and has zero reverse cutting. Even though it's not cube shaped, it's a dodecahedron shaped for your information. I'll just call it a cube. Now my main event is big cubes, but my best event out of all those is 6x6. Six six. Now my favorite song is Billy Eilish's Bad Guy. Next question comes from that one Rubik's dude, and he asks, favorite slash main event? Well my favorite events are Mega Minx, Peter Minx, Square One, 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, and 7x7. And once again, my main events are Big Cube, 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, and 7x7. And my best out of all those is 6x6, mainly because of my results. Next question comes from Sharia, and he asks, If someone were to hand you a Vault Elite and tell you to yeet your 354, will you? By the way, yeeting means throwing. No, why would I destroy my only Gen cube? I do not want to waste $40. But yes, probably, because the Vault Elite M is more expensive, and I've never had a Vault cube ever. You know, second thought? Why not throw my 354 at a near distance, then take Fizzer her Vault Elite, 
and without Smither looking, I'll take back my 354. Next question comes from Elden Studios Archive, and he asks, What got me to Cuban? Well, one of my uh, classmates in second grade brought a Rubik's Cube to school, so I decided to get my own for my 8th birthday, and I eventually learned how to solve one. And I decided, and I started to do lots of solves, and I eventually became faster at the Rubik's Cube. Then I watched lots of cubing videos, and those people uh, who were making those cubing videos, they had a variety of puzzles. And I decided to get more of those, and I eventually got faster with all those, and that's how I started cubing. Next question comes from Cubing in the Rain, and he asks, What is your favorite cube of all time? What do you look for in the cube? Why is cubing so fun for you? Have you ever cubed in the rain? Get it? Well, my favorite cube of all time is the YLM 4x4M, mainly because it drops my 4x4 times a lot. Now, what I look for in a cube is good turning, fantastic corner cutting, at least decent stability, and an anti popping mechanism. And cubing is so fun for me because it helps me re relieve my stress, it improves my thinking, and it helps me make more friends. And yes, I've cubed in the rain before at school. So at school it was raining, I kept an umbrella over my head, and I was kind of bored so I just got my Rubik's Cube and just played with it while it was raining. Next question comes from Rinji Chan, and she asks, What events do you do? What is your favorite cube overall in your collection? And what is your ultimate subscriber goal for YouTube? Well, the events I do are 2x2, 3x3, 3x3 one-handed, 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, 7x7, Mega Minx, Pure Minx, Square One, and Skew. Now, my favorite cube overall, once again, is the Wildland 4x4. And my ultimate subscriber goal for YouTube is to get at least 25,000 subscribers sometime. Next question comes from Supernova Cuber, and he asks, How long have you been cubing? Well, I, I'm not really sure. I'd estimate like uh, 2 years or 1.75 years, I don't know. Next question comes from Daniel the Cuber, and he asks, How long have you been cubing? To inspire the Cube. Who's your favorite YouTube? Who's your favorite cuber? And who's your favorite YouTuber? Well, uh, once again, I'm not really sure. I I estimate about 1.75 to 2 years. That's how long I've been cubing. Now, uh, famous YouTubers like Field Sunday or Lucas Edgar inspire me to cube. My favorite cuber is Max Hard because he inspires me to get faster at my events, uh, and my favorite YouTuber is UberCuber because he creates high quality content and I like how he explains in his videos. Now the final question comes from Cute Challenges and she asks, do you think you'll make it to 100 years old for the fun of it lol? And what do you think your PB and 3 by 3 will be by the end of 2020? So uh, for the first question, yes. I definitely make it to 100 years old, as long as I stay really healthy, and my PB at the end of 2020, I'd say like a 6.1 or a 7.0, uh, around those times, so my current PB is an 8.1, and probably by the end of 2020, I'd say I get like a low 6 or a low 7, I'm not really sure. So that is it for my first Q&A video. I've gotten 29 questions so far, so that's uh, pretty good for a YouTuber with 100 subscribers. So feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!